What's up everybody? Thanks for watching today, baby. All right guys, it's been a couple days since I've given you an update on how I'm doing going from Suboxone to Sublocade. So as of this moment, it is just a little bit over four full days of being on the Sublocade shot. As you guys know, I jumped on at a 150 milligram shot and just wanted to kind of let you guys know how I'm feeling. Now, before I talk about this, just want to let you know that I'm not a doctor. Nothing on this channel is medical advice. Please talk to your own doctor about your addiction issues, guys. So I'm just sharing my experiences here, right? So, all right. So where do I start? So I just want to say it's it's a different feeling not having the ups and downs that you get with the Suboxone oral doses, right? And it's nice to just feel level, constant, like... Just feel, you feel, you literally feel normal on the shot. Um, I'm happy to say that ever since I got the shot, I have not taken one oral dose of Suboxone. So that's been incredibly nice to not have to think about my dose all day. When am I going to take my second dose? Is it feeling too strong? Is it, am I in withdrawal at all? Like, do I have to balance this? Do I have to worry about sex here or... You know, there's just so many things that come into play when you're trying to juggle things, for me anyway, on Suboxone. So to feel steady all day, all night, all morning, it's it's a gift. And uh, it just makes you feel a lot more normal. I've had zero self-guilt for being on the Sublocade shot, so that's been nice. I'm not really sure why I would or wouldn't. It's just something I've noticed that I haven't guilted myself at all, probably because I'm not... I'm not putting something in my mouth. I don't know. <laughs> I can't really speak too much about on that, but I've had zero self guilt so far anyway. Um, and you guys know I would struggle with that sometimes on Suboxone. It was kind of hit and miss. Sometimes it wouldn't really bug me, but then sometimes it would. It just kind of came and went sometimes. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Oh, okay, so other than the first day at the six hour mark when I had that really strong rush of medication come over me. I haven't had anything else like that. I felt just totally flat throughout the whole day, totally normal throughout the whole day. So I'm glad that I didn't have any more rush feelings like that. That was a little intense feeling as you guys seen in the live stream when that happened. Um, constipation I really wanted to hit on because after the first day of being on Sublicade, I couldn't use the bathroom and that was okay. Like I was expecting that. So luckily it didn't freak me out. So that's the night of the second night. I took one gentle laxative cause I was just starting to try to kind of see what I could, how I could work around the constipation. So at night before bed, I took one gentle laxative and then the next, it wasn't the next morning. It was like the next like afternoon, 12, one o'clock. I was able to have a, a pretty decent bowel movement. So that was, I was like, okay, now I, now I don't have to panic about that. I know that if I take one laxative before bed, I'll be able to clear some stuff out the next day at some point, right? So I did the same thing the next night and the same thing happened. It was right around 12, one o'clock. Um, and to me, that definitely says, okay, my buprenorphine levels in my body are higher than they were at four milligrams because when I went up to four milligrams, I could usually use the bathroom in the morning about nine, 10 o'clock without any laxatives, right? So I'm just judging this all on <laughs> my poo regimen. And, uh, and I have a pretty good idea of like what the levels are in my body based just off of that, right? And there's a couple other things that I can base it off of too, like sex drive, stuff like that. Um, but the easiest way for me to kind of gauge my levels is how my constipation is because it's it's directly related to how high your dose is in my experience. So I did notice today, and this is kind of a new little concern I've had. I think I might have mentioned this in one of the other videos. So I did not take any, any laxative last night, right, guys? And then today I was able to use the bathroom at about 10.30 or 11. So... To me, it's pretty clear, uh, and I knew this was gonna happen, right? You you spike the dose at first within 24 hours, and then you're just slowly going down from there. Um, my my new concern is that I might be coming down in my dose a little too fast, just be, simply because 
probably because this is my guess anyway, is my, um, how fast my metabolism is guys. You guys remember when I showed you the bump, um, my, my injection bump the first day, right? Let me show you guys. This is also why I'm a little concerned. So look how small that is guys. Look how small that is now. Like it's probably already, I'm gonna say, can you even see that? <laughs> Let me point it out. I'm trying to get the, the shadow just right, right there. That's flexing, right? That's flexing. So it kind of hides itself when I flex. Just relaxed. Yeah, you can see it's still there a little bit with the shadows. But it has gone down a lot in size, guys. For just being four days, it seems like it's about half the size. So <laughs> I'm a little concerned about that. I'm just really hoping maybe the reason it was so big the first day, and it really wasn't that big, but it was more noticeable the first day compared to now. I'm hoping uh, that the reason for such a size decrease so soon is just like if there was some swollenness or tenderness, like something had it kind of swollen. And now, now hopefully just because that swollenness is gone, I'm just hoping the medication isn't going away that fast. Because if that's true and I'm only four days out and it's already that small, let me know you guys that are familiar with the shot and how it looks like through the month. Is it normal for that to go down so fast? <laughs> because if it keeps going away that fast, that bump's going to be gone in the next week or two. So that's a little bit concerning to me. I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> let me know for you guys that have experience with that. Please let me know if it's normal for that bump to be half the size in four days time. That's a little scary to me, but we'll see what happens, guys. <laughs> um, so that lets me know that my dose obviously is going down every day from here as I knew it would, as, as it's supposed to be. I'm just... I'm just hoping it's not going down faster, like going down like this fast because of my metabolism is so quick, right? So I've known with Suboxone that my metabolism definitely came into play as far as when withdrawal would kick in. And it was always much sooner than most other people's withdrawal because my body would just get rid of the medication so fast. Some people say, some people have said um, that they have seen reports that uh, people that have taken Sublocade have tested positive for up to a year after. I w there's zero chance that will happen to me, guys. I guarantee you that my body will not slowly let that stuff go out over a whole year, one shot. <laughs> um, just with how fast my body, like I could tear through pop, I could I could eat pop tarts all day and still still have good abs like that. So that's just how my metabolism works. For whatever reason, I don't know why it's like that. I don't think I've ever met anybody with faster metabolism than me. So <clears throat> it, it kind of seems like, I don't know, like I'm hoping that it's not gonna come into negative territory. Like if that's all the way gone before I get my next injection, like I'm probably gonna be fully into withdrawals, right? I don't know. So you guys that have experience with this, please let me know. Am I, am I overthinking that? I can still feel it there, but it just feels a lot smaller. Like the hard parts of the, the of the shot, it feels a lot smaller than it did four days ago. So we'll see what happens with that, guys. I'm just definitely going to keep you guys in the loop on that. So as far as I'm concerned, from now, from here on, I shouldn't have any constipation issues at all. I shouldn't even need to take any more laxatives just based on what I've got, what I've tested on the last four days. Really, the only time I had the problem with constipation was the very first day. <laughs> um, and I could tell my levels were high just based on how much sweat I had on my forehead the next morning. Like, like I said in the video, like there was a lot of sweat on me. So that tells me that my levels were really high that first day. So, so yeah, guys, that's that. Um, sexually things have been fine, right? Um, so that's good to know. So you guys that are worried about that, it doesn't seem to be any worse than, than with Suboxone. So that's good. Um, what else can I tell you guys? What other things could I think about? Um, it just feels nice, guys, to be steady throughout the day and to not have to, like, look at the clock all day and see see how long, you know, I need to worry about taking my next dose. Yada, yada, yada. Just the rigmarole of having to time my doses. And it's just kind of a pain in the butt, guys. So, um 
I've had no self guilt with supplicate. I think I already said that. Sorry, I'm re-recording re this video for the second time. My phone ran out of memory. <laughs> so this is the second time recording this. But yeah, guys, um, I think I'm gonna be on Nicole's channel this Wednesday. I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna do. So watch for that. I'll give you guys a heads up for sure once we have it planned as far as what, what date and time I'm gonna be on her channel. Um, yeah. Just wanted to let you guys know things are going well. Still haven't taken any Suboxone orally at all, not even once. Um, that's pretty much really the only updates I have for you guys as far as right now goes. So um, if I missed anything in this video, I'm just trying to think real quick before I get, let you guys go if there's something I missed. Oh, those are really the only things, guys. Um, feeling normal. I've, I've been working out plenty still so i'm staying up on my fitness i'm still eating good and healthy i'm drinking a lot of water still making sure my constipation don't get behind <laughs> i want to stay up on that so that's about it for today's video guys uh don't forget to hit, hit that like button if you could remember nothing on my channel is medical advice speak to your own doctor guys and uh we'll talk to you guys soon hopefully you guys can leave me some comments if i missed something i probably i probably am missing something or if you have any other questions about anything, just feel free to let me know, guys. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye, guys.